Hey guys, Armor Gun here today with another quick disassembly field strip of, this time, the Dragonov, the SVD, the not an AK Snipey Boy. So we're gonna pop this guy all apart, show you guys how it works, and that'll be pretty cool. So first we'll prove clear, drop the mag, cycle that beautiful action in this uh, awesome milled receiver. And while you can actually disassemble this with the optic on, it's easier to take it off, so we're just going to pop this latch, flip that over, and this guy comes right off. And note, the optic rail is milled into the lower receiver. If you want, you can also pop the little cheek rest off here, a little clasp back there that just comes right off. Next up, you pop this little assembly latch down. Looks like a safety, but not a safety. That swings around just about 180 degrees, pops back there. Then uh, your top cover can pop up, lift off, and you can see it has the guide rod and recoil spring retained inside. Next up, we'll pull back our carrier and you'll notice there's no piston attached to it because this, the Dragonov, runs off a short stroke action where the piston impacts the carrier right there, you can see, instead of being attached directly to it. The carrier itself is basically an AK. Just push the bolt back, rotate it, pull it out, and you can see it's a very, very AK bolt. Floating firing pin. And there's your stripped carrier. One cool thing to note with the trigger assembly is there's actually an auto sear in here, <laughs> but this is the last thing that you'll ever expect to see as a machine gun. Uh, maybe not the last thing, but pretty close. Uh, so what that actually does in the case of this is it acts as an out of battery safety. It's actually a mechanism that gets tripped uh, when the carrier slides fully into battery. That depresses the auto sear, which will allow the actual hammer to fall. Without that, even with this on fire, the hammer is disabled. All right, next for the front end, you have this little clasp to uh, pull out. You have to push in freaking hard. It's a really tight spring clamp. Push it in, slowly pull it away. And with that free, you can move this front barrel band ahead, which is also a little sticky. This gun is like freaking brand new. I am so lucky and blessed to have this thing. This beautiful late 1985 gun, awesome. Um, but hasn't been barely shot and it probably hasn't really been taken apart much. It's a little tight. I like to be reasonably nice with stuff, so we'll uh, try and tap it free with this guy. There we go. Fabulous. Well, this one came off. This is kind of a cool view, to be honest. And right here, we're going to take our thumbnail. Pretty cool, but we're not done yet. Here's our piston. And that is how the Dragunov works. Carrier goes into battery. You drop the hammer. I'm sure, more than one of you just cringed at that. The bullet travels down the barrel till it gets to the gas block up here. Comes through this, the regulator hits the piston and in turn, the piston hits the carrier, causing it to cycle, reset the hammer and uh, Chamber a fresh round, close into battery, gripping the auto sear, and you are ready to go again. So, pretty fun. The pusher rod. With some finagling, your pusher rod comes out with your pusher rod spring. This is the actual piston itself. There's the head of the piston. Gas contacts that and cycles this guy back. Here's your gas regulator, which you adjust with the rim of the 762 by 54 r standing for rimmed cartridge case. You have one and you have two. And if you rotate it to the center position, you'll notice a disassembly notch. So you can pop this guy all the way up and rotate this guy out. And that guy just keeps spinning and spinning and eventually comes right out. So there's your gas regulator. Cool beans, there's your fully disassembled SVD. And a bit of a lesson on how it works. If you wanna learn more, check out my full gun library episode on this guy, which will be up within a couple days of this video. Catch you in the next one, Armored Gun, out. Boom diggity.